How you guys doing? Y'all came just in time. I was just getting ready to set up an intro that I don't have. It's, it's disappointing. I probably should've just got a latte to do this intro too. Uh, hello YouTube, I'm Andre Santana, and we are going to do the Q&A for Detroit Become Human. I am the scriptwriter, the director, and the manager for the Detroit Become Human projects. So I will be answering you guys' questions that y'all gave me via Instagram. And I have them on this paper here because clearly I'm using my phone to record, so I can't do both. All right, so question number one. Who is your favorite character of the series? Me personally, is me personally. Question number two, are Hank and Connor's VA the actual friends? As far as the friendship, they're definitely co-workers as like, well, cast workers, I guess, if we want to put it that way. Um, Jaco and Ray are actually really close. Those two actually are in the same state. They're friends and everything. Um, as far as Jeff and him, it's, it's kind of like a neutral friendship. You know, so like they, they're castmates, they work together, they're co-workers. Number three, why does Clara have two voices? So this was actually established back in episode three, if uh, you haven't seen it. Kara has two personalities going on. So when her deviancy split, or when she stopped being a labor robot, her personality split, so now there's like two parts of her. There is Kara and there's Candace, two different... Two different personalities for sure. Kara's definitely the motherly, nice, good girl type, the shy girl who's in the library reading the books, and Candace is the one out trying to get library girl to go to the club with her and get her drunk and whatnot. She is the, she's the fun auntie, put it that way. That's, that's why you hear whenever they speak, they call her auntie, she's the auntie. As far as like, even the voice actor, which I talked to today, she enjoys playing both for the split personality. She enjoys Candace more because she's funner, of course. And she has a lot of, uh, she has a lot of fun lines, you know, she's definitely enjoyable on screen. So people enjoy her, the voice actor enjoy her, so Candace is gonna be sticking around, she's been really fun. And Kara's like the, like, she's the good girl, she's the mom, she, she's the mother. And Jonah actually put it in a really good way, think of Kara like Yugi, you know how Yugi has him and Yami? Same thing with Kara and Candace. Candace has to actually tap into... Like, she's talking in her head, and she can actually take over Kara's body at almost any point she wants to. And she she hangs around for a little bit, and then, like, she swaps back over, so... It, it's, a, it's a cool little uh, thing I did with Between to get her little character development. It makes Kara funner and gives her more personality. Number four, is Alice played by an actual child? No, that is a grown woman playing Alice. She actually... You can actually hear it more in episode two. You can hear, like, uh, more of her womanly voice, but as, like, time moved on, uh... Nully started actually making like a little child voice, but yeah, it's a grown woman behind the behind the mic. Number five, what is happening to Chloe in the video? So Chloe actually has her own separate story going on. There is somebody out to get her, and she this person is working very hard. And if you actually watch, there's been hints all throughout the series. You see all like the static that's happening in the video. That's him just like trying to creep closer and closer. He is trying to get to Chloe, and Chloe is resisting him as much as she can. But well, that's a mystery that you guys have to wait on. Number six, are there any more planned major deaths? Yes. Am I gonna tell you? No. But there's definitely gonna be some more people dying for sure. I don't actually know myself because I'm playing the game like as I go. Like I remember it very vaguely, but I'm playing the game as I'm doing these videos. So I, I don't actually know who's coming up next because I don't remember myself. So hey, it's a surprise for all of us. We all get to learn together, right? All right, question number seven. What was your favorite episode? My favorite episode would actually have to be the most recent one. Mostly because I enjoy how the segments actually connect. There's action, there's story, and there's a lot of moments that I just really enjoy rewatching. Uh, watching uh, Luther become a good guy, that was a really fun section for me. Watching Connor and Amanda having a little uh, spat in the middle section. And then Chasey was just great. And I really love the speedster character, even though. We're not gonna see him again. <laughs> Speeds the character's not coming back, y'all. That that was a one and done, and I, I'm gonna miss him. He was funny. I, I really enjoyed making that character and seeing him on the screen. It was great. Uh, as far as my favorite moment, my favorite moment was in episode five. My boy Kello from college came in. I had both my boys from college coming on that episode. Uh, Bryson and Kello came back, and they they made that video great for me. Like I I enjoy getting to see both of them, hearing both of them in the video again. It, it was like, because we ain't connected in a minute and all of our voices come together in that video just made it pretty great and make it pretty special. It was it was awesome. Alright, question number eight. How does the voice process work? Uh, to put it simply, I gather up some voice actors, I send them the script, they work on it, 
they send it back usually on the last day and then I have to work on it on the last day. It's just, it's just how it happens. Like when people start in group projects in school, they, they, they start working on it probably like the day before and then they turn it in like right there at the last moment. I mean, I'm used to it. I've been doing this for two years now, so that's how the voice process is. It's pretty, it's pretty simple, pretty cut and dry. Number nine, is Candace single? She seems fun. I'm not sure if we're talking about actual character in the game or the actual person who plays her. In either case, the answer is no. You can't have either of them. Number ten, is any member a previous voice actor? No, all of us are strictly amateur, like fresh out the box. All the people that I have on the group, they never did it before, and honestly, that's what makes it fun. These are first timers, and this is the beauty we're getting. This is just all the amateur built talent. Take the, take that. It's amateur built talent. When they, they all start out not knowing a thing, doing it for the first time, but they're building. So what you're seeing on that screen is their talent building over time. And doesn't that that just made it so much more beautiful, man? Just seeing it grow over time. Even me, I'm self taught. I didn't have I didn't go to drama class. I didn't go to theater. I didn't do none of that. I was just a guy with some ideas and wanted to try it out. And here it is, and we have this beautiful series coming together, right? So, I talked to all my voice actors, well I tried to talk to most of my voice actors the other day and try to get their opinions on what the series is like, and here's the most voted for these questions. So, the most developed character was voted to be Kara. People thought that Kara had the most glow up between her debut and today, and honestly, I, I agree with it. I can't disagree with it. Kara has went through a lot through these episodes. She has started from a quiet, um, just like a quiet robot, and then she became a mother, and then she became a rogue mother, and then she became a, what do we call it? I guess we could call her a deviant, but even Candace is kind of more of a deviant, but I guess whatever, and to pretty much having to just fight for her life, like almost every episode, it's just kind of been like struggle after struggle for her, she has to keep going. So it's good Candace is here because Kara would have never made it. <laughs> she would have probably been dead episodes ago if Candace and stuff. And the funniest character was voted to be Connor. Connor was most voted funny character. Mostly because of his comebacks and a lot of the jokes he's done over the series. So big thumbs up to Jeff right there. You, what is, what is a coincidence? It would be both of the protagonists, right? <laughs> both of the protagonists got the first so far. Okay, so and up next, most requested character to return would be the Italian policeman <laughs> that Jago plays. That is the most requested. When I asked the guys, who do y'all want to see come back? They said, we want the policeman, the Italian dude to come back, the hot dog shit guy. They want him back up in here. So hopefully we'll see his appearance at some point. Or I'll just might just retcon it, retcon him in there somehow. But all right, that is all of the Q&A for today. And hopefully y'all learned a little bit from this. Actually. Comment some other stuff y'all want to know because I can answer that down in the comments as well. And hopefully we also can keep this going. We are at the midpoint of Detroit Become Human. At estimate, we're going to have five more episodes left until we finish this. So that means we are halfway there. Look how far we've grown. Look how far we've gotten. And it only gets better because I try to improve every video from the previous one so it's only going to get better. So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and end that off and go to the comments. Go to the comments, write something. <laughs> but alright, I will see you guys in the next one.